Hello and welcome to this video on how to plot a calibration graph using Excel. Let's assume that you've run a calibration experiment with a set of external standards. You now have a data set of concentrations and their corresponding instrument responses, in this case peak areas from HPLC. How do we go about obtaining a calibration graph with its linear regression equation and R squared value? The independent variable, or what you control in the experiment, is always plotted on the x-axis. In this case, it's concentration. The dependent variable, or what you measure, is plotted on the y-axis, in this case, peak area. I'm going to use Excel 365, but the process should be similar in other versions. Firstly, type in the data, with the x values in the first column and the y values in the second column. I've done this already to save time. Highlight the data and go to the Insert tab. In the Charts area, select Scatter. I prefer to use Scatter with straight lines and markers. It's not normally appropriate to use smooth lines on a calibration graph. The graph will now appear in the worksheet, but we need to do some formatting. The graph should have a title which describes the data. If you click on Chart Title, it becomes editable. And you can type in the title. The axes should also be labelled, including any units. If you click on the graph, Two more tabs appear, Chart Design and Format. Select the Chart Design tab and go to Add Chart Element, Axis Titles. You'll need to add both Primary Horizontal and Primary Vertical Axis Titles. These correspond to the X and Y axes respectively. As the peak area values are large, we can also put these into scientific notation to simplify the labels. Click on the axis, and a box appears around the axis labels. Right-click in this box, and select Format Axis. Expand the Number section in the Axis Options window, and under Category, select Scientific. You can specify how many decimal places to display, in this case 2 is fine. Once the graph is formatted, we need to apply a line of best fit and determine the linear regression equation. To do this, right-click on the data set on the graph and select Add Trend Line. A panel appears where you can specify the type of trend line you want to fit to your data. In most calibrations, this will be linear. Check the Display Equation on Chart and Display R Squared Value on Chart options. You'll need the linear regression equation to calculate the concentration of any unknown samples and the R-squared value gives an indication of how well your data points fit the trend line. Don't forget, if you're using average values of repeat measurements to plot your graph, then you'll need to add error bars. Some common errors when plotting calibration graphs include plotting the data the wrong way around and using the wrong type of graph. If the data are the wrong way around, the graph will have the wrong variables on each axis, so you need to make sure you know what you're plotting on the X and Y axes. If you select a line graph instead of an XY scatter, the X axis will be incorrect. It will assume that you want the axis to be 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. instead of your concentration values, which are not necessarily evenly spaced. This means that your data points are distorted and you'll get an incorrect linear regression equation. Thanks for watching and look out for more content coming soon on the Analytical Science Tutor channel.